Good morning. I hope you're well. Welcome to Wednesday's Daily Reflection. We're continuing our journey through Luke's Gospel and the pace is slowing down as we come to the crux of the Passion narrative. Jesus in Gethsemane, as Luke describes it, on the Mount of Olives. Uh, Luke chapter 22, verses 39 to 46. He came and went out, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him, and gave him strength in his anguish. He prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling down to the ground. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray, that you may not come into the time of trial. And we thank God for that reading from his word. It's a sombre, sombre reading and uh, artists have been drawn to it time and time again. I've been exploring uh, the painting by Andrea Matejna, I think I've got that right, and uh, it's a fascinating painting. Uh, you can find it in the National Gallery website. Uh, as he depicts the scene, uh, the disciples are in the foreground, they are laying asleep, uh, and playfully there are three rabbits just there on the path behind him, and the disciples are oblivious of what's, of what's behind them there. Uh, Jesus is in anguish uh, a few steps up above them on a, a rock and in front of him are some uh, cherubs who are holding the symbols of his execution that will follow. No wonder Jesus prays uh, that this cup might be removed from him. But of course that is uh, immediately followed by those words, yet yeah, not my will yours. Jesus is completely submissive to the Father's will. In the background uh, we can see Judas coming with the soldiers as they follow the path which winds down uh, from the gate of Jerusalem uh, and above the scene is uh, a crow-like bird, dark and brooding, uh, almost a demonic figure they're waiting to see what happens. Jesus will see this through. I wonder if you notice that the readings are sandwiched really, or, or book bookended I should say really, by two comments. Twice Jesus says, not once, I just noticed it for the first time. Twice he tells them, uh, pray that you may not come to the time of trial. And of course this is the way that Jesus has taught his disciples to pray. Uh, pray that they wouldn't come in the, to the time of trial. It's the heart of the of the Lord's prayer. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from the evil one. Do not bring us to the time of time of trial. Uh, and so perhaps we need to make that our prayer today, uh, as we consider Jesus with His arms of love outstretched on the cross for us. I'm going to use a prayer which I've not used in a while. Uh, it's a uh, prayer of Saint Anselm to conclude this morning. O Lord my God, teach my heart where and how to seek you, where and how to find you. O Lord, you are my God and you are my Lord and I have never seen you. You have made me and remade me and you have bestowed on me all the good things I possess and still I do not know you. I have not yet done that for which I was made. 
teach me to seek you for I cannot seek you unless you teach me or find you unless you show yourself to me let me seek you in my desire let my desire let me desire you in my seeking let me find you by a loving you let me love you when I find you amen have a blessed day take care See you soon.